Sorry. Folks, thanks for coming out this morning. Um, welcome, or for most of you, welcome back to Gateway Regional High School. Um, my name is Mike DeChico. I'm an instructional supervisor here, and I'm also a Gateway alum, class of 94. <laughs> so there's the Gateway you remember, and the Gateway I remember, and then there's what we have today, which are three different things. Um, most of you remember in 1970, there was only one entrance, which is right up here. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then there was the, the parking lot here, which is now twice the size that it was when you went here. Mm -hmm. beyond, the, beyond the parking lot was an athletic field, an upper level of field, and then down to the lower fields. The lower fields are still there, but just a little bit wider. The upper fields are sort of gone. They've expanded the parking lot, and now there's an access road that goes all the way around the building. Huh. And there's a second entrance to the property which is off the side here. So, so when the kids come in in the morning, we had like the line of cars coming down Tanyard Road, they're trying to pull in, other cars are trying to pull out, the parents are trying to, it's kind of like a log jam. So now they sort of made like a loop around the parking lot that you guys can see. So the lower fields are very similar, you know, some of the, what used to be a baseball might be a softball, but they're very similar. Um, the other big notable change outside in the front is the brand new renovated stadium, which just opened about three weeks ago, a brand new next turf playing surface. Um, they've added lights in the late, mid to late 90s. So our football games on Friday night, so now under the lights. The bleachers are still the, the bleachers are original. Good job on there. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 turf, the turf is new, the track is new, the bleachers are original. Uh, the high school, the, 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 the one and two hundred wing here in the front, the auditorium, the classrooms down there. Sticking out here, you have the locker rooms, and behind that, the high school gym. That is all relatively unchanged on the outside. Um, when they redid the, the uh, building renovation project about five or six years ago, and they did some additions, one of the things they did is they added brick face to the front instead of that, like, green plastic looking stuff that you guys yeah. remember. <laughs> <laughs> that, that green stuff is still under there. They just put the bricks on top. Um, there's an if you look down here, you'll see where the curb line sort of juts out. That wasn't there. And you see the brick on that little front part of the building is different. That's a new addition. When we get inside, I'll show that to you. There's an auxiliary gym. In 1970, there was one gymnasium. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. They added a second gymnasium in 1979, I want to say. So that was a high school gym, and then the middle school gym is beyond that. How many of you have been here since 1970? My niece. Four or five. Most of you have not been here. So you graduated and never came back. Okay. Um, <laughs> That's why we're here today. So, uh, it's been four years. So the high school Get out. <laughs> so the high school gym is the high school gym you remember. There's a gym beyond that that's a middle school gym, which is new to you, but not really new. And then there's an auxiliary gym right here in the front, which I'll walk you through. And that's new to everybody, even to our current students. That's huh. the new part yeah. of the gym. All right. Charlie, Charlie, mark that on your list. Yeah. <laughs> That's part of it. They probably, <laughs> they probably, <laughs> they probably are the same. Absolutely. Day. 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 The first Earth Day or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The first Earth Day. Okay. Yeah. Um, again, my name is Mike. At any time, this is very informal, at any time you have a question, throw it out there. We'll stop real fast. Uh, if I know the answer, I'll tell you, and if I don't know, I'll make it up. No, I'm kidding. If you don't know, I'll find the right answer. When we go inside, there's some information. If you want to pick one up, help yourself. Um, we also have some little cards in there. Fill your name out, throw it in the bowl at the end. We'll pick some names. There's some door prizes to give away. Oh, cool. You're not giving away the old mascot uniform, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I think that went to number the <laughs> That soccer was padded like this thick. There was a Gator mascot when I was in high school. There's a new mascot since then. So there's been at least three, maybe four. I don't know what happened to Gator number one. I do. I'm right here. Gator number one. Like I said, we're on, a, we're on, a, we're on at least number three or four. Uh, on that, on that sign there. Yeah. Yeah. I said, the one that's out there now looks mean and vicious. Yeah. 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 The first, first live one we had was mean and vicious. But you know what? He couldn't drink bowl cleaner. So again, again my name is Mike. If you guys have any questions at any time, just throw them out and I'll do my best. Okay? So what's the mascot now? It's still a gator, it's just a different costume. Okay. Because <laughs> 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 he's a green gator. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Today's September 11, 2010, flags at half mast because of 9-11, um, 2001. We lived in Germany when that happened.